All right. Hello. Hello. Oh, am I just supposed to run? Okay. Hello, oh, GMU God. Smash. Hello, Flightless. What's up? All right. We. Got I have not commented on BMS for a really long time, so this is this is a throwback. But also, I've never seen Duncan and Grands. This is so hype. That is really hype. Yeah. He beat yeah. Matador and Rags today. So. Uh, what a good he's job. Kind, he's kind of on fire, honestly. Honestly, yeah. I uh, agree with that. And I want I want him to win, but I also don't want to have to watch two Ben sets, so <laughs> I'm very conflicted right now. But he's doing good. That was actually a really good down air. Like Duncan is playing very well today. He's being creative, kinda. As creative as Palatina can get. Yeah. Okay, Who that's down. Maybe it won't be uh, the two the dreaded two sets. As, yeah. like, as long as you uh, expect it to be. That could be true. I mean, he's keeping the pace pretty lively right now. He's, I mean, only about. A minute has passed, and they're about to take first stock. Well, yeah. we'll see. Not if there's anything to say it's about it. Honestly, the fastest I've ever seen a Pac-Man die <laughs> right now. You know, in all of Smash and... Wow. Yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> but that is good. <laughs> I guess, yeah, this matchup probably isn't too bad. Because Pal Palutator can put on her own, like, uh, projectile pressure counter his. Yeah. Like, because Not... Pac-Man likes to set up his zone, but I feel like, like, Explosive Flame and Auto Radical will just, like, you know eat away at that and yeah. just force him to approach sometimes. Not to mention the uh, reflector. I do recall many times Ben saying that he fears characters with reflectors. Yeah, uh, Palutena feels a little bit more committal than most reflectors, though. Just because of the, like, the startup and a little bit of end lag afterwards because yeah, of the animation. Absolutely. But yeah, it's still reflector nonetheless, so it could be good in this matchup. Yeah. But right now, Duncan is just like... Oh, wait, that's a... Oh. I love how you can just try to run away from that grab and just come and just <laughs> yoink you. Like, you can try to spot dodge, you can try to run away. Nope. It'll come all the same. But, uh... Scary. Regardless, Duncan is... Uh, he's doing, like, a really good job of just keeping him in disadvantage, like, consistently. Which is, like, kind of hard to do against Pac-Man. Ooh! Oh, my goodness. That all right. Yeah, that's such a long-lasting move. Good to call it Spanner. Get up. So Duncan has a pretty substantial lead right now, and he is really dictating the pace of this game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's rare you see uh, Ben on the back foot. Yeah. In any match, really. And this is exactly how he needs to play this, because if Ben gets a lead, it's almost impenetrable. Pretty much, yeah. So Duncan's doing a really good job. Oh, yeah, I got a little bit too antsy on that ledge trap, and wow, he almost died for that. Oh, yeah, he's going to take it. Yeah. A little bit of a bad angle there. So, Dub really can't get anti right now. Oh, wait. Ooh, he went for it. Ben normally gets like 40 to 50% off of those. I'm surprised he kind of dropped that. It was a weird position to start out with, so. Yeah. Okay. It's still scary, nonetheless, to see it <laughs> in action. Wow. Oh, wow. Dub nearly got that up air, but, uh, yeah, he can't, he can't get anti right now. Ben is going to, this is definitely a spot that isn't the best for Ben, but, like, it's very doable. So, yeah, absolutely. I'll get fair out of shield to, you know, get him back in neutral. Oh, oh he reads the go. jump. Wow. If he got that F smash, that would have been a really good read. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> the magnet grip. Good lord. Oh, my God. That was a really good air dodge. I didn't yeah. think I was going to get that out in time. That was a good roll off of the ledge. Battle of the back throws now, it seems like. Yeah. Oh, oh he oh. dropped. I thought he dropped too low. But no, good dash back. All right. A lot of straight hits from probably will kill now. So, let's see how he covers the ledge. He had the right idea to get a standard get up. Oh, what? wow. He rolls on the hydrant oh, wow. into the into it, the explosive flame. It was flame. because of the hydrant that he died. That's unfortunate. That was oh, really wow. interesting. I mean, that was good counterplay from uh, Dub there, though. Yeah. That was a really solid first game, he, honestly. Yeah. Taking game one grands. Yo, what if Dub wins BMS? That is the timeline I want to see. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the I just unexpected, but... Literally the most deserved with how he's been playing. Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm also dropping a tweet. Alright, game two, going to, uh, Pokemon Stadium. Uh, yeah, this definitely seems like it would be kind of good for Pac-Man, but, uh, wow. Dub really tried to extend there and just get that kill right out the gates. Greedy. If he got that second bear, I wonder if that one. I doubt it would have killed, but it was. Nah. He is just relentless right now, though. Oh, yeah, but Powell's oh. dash grab is a little bit underwhelming, so. It has been a little bit of an opening. Dub is going. Uh -oh. Okay. It Dub, Dub's going low, and it keeps scaring me. 
And I oh, feel yeah. like Ben's gonna reverse <laughs> this at some point. When when Zub goes low, I feel like Ben's just gonna just straight hit in and he's gonna he's not gonna be able to warp back. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Totally intentional item combo there. <laughs> I think the scariest part about him going low is like, the two times that he's done it so far, he's hitting the trampoline. So that could oh, just yeah. be, That's true. <laughs> might be very detrimental. And, like, if it's on yellow, or wait, no. What, you have to know when it's red, right? And then well, that, if, that's when you go into free fall? It when it's yellow, it'll turn red, and if he misses his warp, then he's fucked. Okay, yeah. Okay, but, good dash tag. Ben has done a good job clawing back into the stock, though. Like, double uh, just running away with it, but... That was really crucial to seal the stock up then. So, yeah, yeah that'll take oh, it, though. Back I, I'm surprised that Ben's been throwing those bells point blank. That was a perfect. Like, okay. I feel like that is, like... Oh, that was a really weird Galga interaction. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the reversal? Bumping, bumping into <laughs> solid objects does make it go all funky. Yeah, it's really strange. Did you see that reverse on the Nairs, though? I thought Duncan was getting a lot more out of that, but... Uh, oh, no. Yeah, that's, that move is kind of hard to challenge. Yeah. But he didn't get a weird stage spike or anything, so he's good. Oh, I thought he was going to up here there. But nice auto reticle, just make him drop the fruit. Oh, wow, he's really yeah. just like, he's Avoiding. not letting Ben get his charge off. Yeah, I don't even know what he's going for. Probably more Galaga stuff. Okay. Or, or Melon, I guess. When did he get that? Uh, I don't know when he got that, actually. <laughs> It charges a lot faster than I thought, actually. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Oh, yeah. He almost... Man. That was actually a pretty smart read from Ben, because I feel like he was trying... Duncan has been landing with a lot of, like, aerials, so trying to call that out with the smash is a good idea, but not quite the right spacing. So Dub still has a little bit of a lead, but no stage oh, control. No. He keeps running into those point-blank bells. It's really smart from Ben, because... I feel like a lot of Pac-Man players, just like, you know, they'll hold on to the bell and just wait for somebody to, like, overcommit. But he's just been throwing them as he's charging them, so it's really hard to predict when he's going to do it. Yeah, it, it really is the weirdest mix of, to, oh, projectile point blank. Yeah. Especially one as powerful as bell that... Wow, his bell so usage is so good right now. Oh. Okay, but this is one, like, Palutena neutral in away from being even. It's just going to be hard to get that one now that oh, Ben yeah. has the lead. Ben knows that he's not going to let it happen. Yeah. Honestly, Ben has been playing, like, not that campy. Like, he's, he's like, since he's been on his back foot for the most of the set. Yeah. And, yeah, it's he almost really even the opportunity. It's, it's always just Dub taking a charge up until up until now, really. Yeah, but he's he's been doing it, like, kind of safely, too, which is nice. <laughs> oh, okay. wow. About 20% between them, but this is kind of big. Yeah, he has the bell now. Dub has to be careful. Uh -oh. Okay, good shield on that one. And he doesn't have it. He almost has it, though. <laughs> oh, God. He's, he's going for hydrogen setups now. <laughs> he is, you're right. You don't know what he's going to do. Yeah. Back when the scariest okay, he's got when, the bell. Uh, when the water shooting out the, out the sides right to the fruit. Honestly, I'm surprised that he didn't throw the bell when a uh, dub committed to that F-tilt. I feel like he could have gotten it, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, probably. <sighs> Oh, that was unfortunate the backer didn't come out. He could have cut down that hydrant a little bit earlier. And the bell. Oh, oh, is that actually going to take it? No way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's it, though. Be, yeah. yeah. Damn, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, you can't let Ben get any kind of lead. Because that he had the lead going into the last dock, and Doug, Dun Duncan tried to just claw back in, but he couldn't. Like, that bell is just so scary. Yeah. Honestly, like, why isn't it the full charge? I feel like the bell should be the full charge, and the key should be, like, the, you know, the kind of not complete charge. The bell is just so much scarier. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> but, I mean, on the plus side for uh, for Dub right now, he did take game one, so that, mean he, that means he does have the counter pick advantage. Oh, that's true. In the game five situation, it'll and be And Battlefield is definitely a good counter pick for this matchup. Absolutely. Oh. Gives them all the uh, room to just <laughs> do do nares, yes. But <laughs> <laughs> I feel like um, it also gives them like more angles of approach against Ben. Yeah, with uh, warp cancels. Yeah, definitely. I don't know how much Dub warp cancels, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, versus me, he he, uh, he does it quite a quite a bit. Uh, okay, so well that'll be especially good for this match matchup, just yeah, to oh. give him more ways to get in. Nice. And there he is, running away with the lead again. 
Yeah. I feel like sometimes, like, when he has this lead, though, he should start to play Ben's game a little bit, you know, just hang back. Because when he, when he get like, Pac-Man's normals are, like, deceptively good. Like, you can't just give him those opportunities to hit you. Oh, yeah, it's belt. No follow-up, though. Nice parry. Oh, he oh. caught the, <laughs> is that the orange? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, nice. oh I'm surprised I didn't the, take uh, it. Smash four, the roll, <laughs> the roll in the back row. Oh, he really, he thought Ben was going to do something like reactionary there, so he got the, I, would the Nair even have killed? He got nerfed, so. No, I, I still feel like it would have. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, then again, I play a light character, so I'm used to killing super early. How heavy is Pac-Man? Ooh, I, that's a good question, but uh, have, <laughs> light enough to uh, die to explosive flame at 130. Yeah, most characters <laughs> are. <laughs> Yeah, this is where Dub wants to be with the, uh, with the Yeah, owner. that was a greedy, uh, explosive <laughs> flame right there. But he was lucky he didn't get punished for that, but that Honestly, should be yeah. it. No, no, no. Wow, that's it's weaker than I thought. I, yeah. Without rage, it's not really a threat. Oh, that's true. I didn't consider that. All right, so. Again, one neutral one from Pac-Man probably could make this even, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, he, I mean, he did drop the Galaga, so it, it'll be a little bit harder for him to get that percent back. Dub is just on it now. Uh, that was probably a miss input, that F-tilt there. Damn. Definitely taking away all these options from him, especially the Hydrant. He's just so aware. Ooh. Oh, but as you say that, Ben was starting to get some setups. Ooh, oh, he ran back into it. Dang. It's amazing. Oh, oh. yeah. You just got to wait that one out. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing wow. how much they overcompensated for like how bad Pac-Man's grab was in four just by making it one of the best grabs in this game. <laughs> At least I feel like it's one of the best grabs. Uh, I mean, it's probably the longest lasting grab. Yeah, so it's insane. It, it does have that going for it. And then I, <laughs> I assume it's just not as um, janky as in Smash 4 where it would just clip through people. Yeah, no, Smash 4 was awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good idea, but it was awful. <laughs> But yeah, so because of that crazy trampoline setup, Ben is just back in the lead. I don't really know if Duncan can say much to stop that. Oh, invincible back air though. Okay, nice. that was really smart. Yeah, that is, that is like the one saving grace that Dub, Dub's been taking advantage of. That was an interesting counter. I wonder if he thought he was going to throw the bell there or something. Probably. Oh. Boy. uh Speaking of this is a scary spot, oh, yeah. yeah. That was actually a pretty smart play from Ben, waiting for the get up attack. All right. Does, does pac okay, a little bit of sign of life there. Oh, wait, if he got that up there, that would have been crazy. Yeah, it would have. I mean, if, if he, uh, if Ben's. Oh, nice. Nice play. All right, he's, this is even right now. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty. Uh, he, he's alive, he's alive. Yeah. I mean, if he got that, that would have been really good, yeah. But oh. is that? Wow. Yeah. Okay. That must be, that has to be kind of demoralizing. Because he almost got that back. Yeah. And now you're down 2 1 versus Ben. He has to play two more games to win a set. Yeah. Two long <laughs> Just games. Just all over again. But we'll see. But I mean, to be fair, hopefully he uh, picks up on those Apple angles because you don't see those every day. Yeah. You expect it to be as... You, you definitely know. have to be on your toes when you're playing against this character. Absolutely. So. We'll see what happens going into game four. I mean, Dub definitely started to get a read near the end of the game there, so we'll see if that carries over. It's the beginning of this, yeah. it's the beginning of this one. Oh, see, he's uh, taking it to Yoshi's. Oh, wait. He oh. gave he gave Ben a wall, and Pac-Man has a wall jump. I mean, I don't know if that's uh, that big of a deal, but... I, I would say it, it is... Like, pretty big of a deal, but not as big as, you know, down tilt reaching below. Oh, that's true. Too, yeah. to forwarder. Just gives him another left guarding option. And, I mean, the down tilt will beat out the wall jump, too. But we'll see. Because I, I know if Ben has the opportunity, he will take it to just, like, you know, wedge stall for a little bit. I don't know how much he can actually do with Pac-Man wall jump, though. Wow, his item control is really good right now. Yeah. And the oh, bell, my goodness. Yeah, not quite going to take it, though. What's that? That looked like it was a weaker. Wow. Hit. Oh, wow. Hey, that's set up on. That was really good. 
That was, that was a really good call on oh, the Oh, he's neutral. using it to give him the Galaga, like, in hand. Oh, that's yeah. pretty smart. Yeah, he's been doing that. Oh, I know you could do that in Smash 4. You could do that with, like, on Duck Hunt with the key. You could you could bounce it off the side of the wall. I'm oh, wondering yeah. if he's going to do that so he just pick up the key like a regular item. That's extremely dangerous to have. Absolutely. But isn't, he hasn't really been charging much. He's actually kind of been going in, if I'm being honest. Like, this is a quick game so far, Ooh. actually. Oh, there, there comes those uh, ledge cancels. Yeah, it seems uh, Ben's getting comfortable calling out Dub's aerials. Yeah, he's he's kind of been bringing the fight to Duncan, honestly. It's a little weird to see from Ben, but he's doing a good job. Yeah. This is why you always got to be afraid of Ben. He can do yeah. both. <laughs> and he works. always has the belt. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Calling out him, you know, trying to juggle that Galga around. Uh oh. Oh, that's there big damage. Yeah, 63%. 63. That's Jesus. crazy. This is looking very Grim hard hit. for for Duncan right now. Oh. But at least you'll we'll see. Anything could happen. I'm surprised he hasn't been taking advantage of that down tilt more. But yeah, taking him off the top of that dash attack. Yeah. Low ceiling. That's good for him. But. He's going to have to make a big play on the second stop right here. Yeah. So this oh, can, and the can higher he, uh, pushing him in a way. Can he last That three? should oh. be it, yeah. Well, yeah, there we go. Congratulations to Ben for taking BMS 95, coming down from Southwest Virginia just like I did, and doing a much better job than I did. <laughs>